AI. In many cases, you would want to have some rich text field inside your Salesforce. Rich text fields can be in a free text that, uh, that your users can enter, or it can be a product description that you want to add here. But this you want to represent inside your documents. Now, as you can see here in this one, it's a quite complex one. I used some uh, different fonts. I used to uh, put some stuff in bold. I uh, added some bullet points and actually used a different color and put some stuff in underline and bold again. Why? Because it's possible. Now, how is this rich text represented in Salesforce? These rich text are actually represented as some HTML snippets. Let's take a look. Behind the scenes, the rich text will look like this. So we have some paragraphs. Paragraphs is good. We know that from our Word documents. We have, of course, some uh, bullet point lists. This uh, Everybody that knows HTML will know this is an uh, uh, unordered list with some list items. And you would have some styling. So this one says that the style is, has to be set in the font family of Garamond. So this entire part will be in the font Garamond. Now this one says a style that it just has to be in red. So this item, uh, this uh, two here, will be represented in red, of course. And then we have the bold and the underline. Those are not styles in uh, uh, according to the setting of the uh, free text from Salesforce. These are set as just normal tags. So you have the B for bold and the, and the U for underline. So B, B and U mixed together are bold and underline. Okay, now we understand the HTML part of it. Let's take a look how we represent that inside our document. I've created a document and a configuration here that shows the different options for rich text. Our document is very simple in this case. Uh, it just says, well, this is our rich text that has to be represented. And if I do not uh, want to remove any of the styling that we have just seen in the uh, HTML, then, well, I want that part represented here. When I do want to remove some styling means that I actually want to remove all of the styling in all of the classes that might be in there. Uh, that is very possible that these things are there. It's all part of the CSS stuff. Then maybe you want to add this HTML uh, uh, snippet inside your document and represent them as it's part of your document means that you want to inherit the fonts from your document, the font sizes from your document, and all of these things can be done by just removing all of the styles and the classes inside your rich text. Okay, if you want to be more uh, specific, let's say, okay, I, own, I want to keep all of the styles uh, for, the, uh, um, for the fonts, for instance, but just remove the style for the color. Okay, that's also very possible. So let's take a look how that would work. This document is attached to my, uh, to my opportunity here. So everything is looking okay. And let's take a look at some of the configuration. The configuration is very simple. So as you can see here, this was the one that had no formatting uh, changes done. So we just say, well, it's a rich text V2. Make sure you to select the V2 in any cases because the V1, uh, if you're still using that, that's actually being deprecated. Um, uh, most of the new, uh, uh, most of the new registrations will not even see the V1 anymore. Uh, data source, our opportunity, our, uh, the field that we want to use is a free text field from uh, coming from Salesforce and the merge field, of course, is RTF. I've, below here, I did not check anything. This is uh, for uh, rich text pictures. If you want to do that, rich text pictures, we perfectly support that. Please contact us for more information. But I did not say to ignore all any of the styles or remove any of the classes or filter them out. So this is going to print it as is. The second one, same configuration, but now I told it to ignore all of the styles and ignore all of the classes. This means that our HTML has some styles and I just want to ignore them. I do not want to use them. So I want to get rid of them. Next up, the last one, to, to a last example, we actually say, well, I want to keep everything, but I want to filter out all of the styles that represent a color. Means that I want to keep this style, 
but I want to filter out this one because this one represents the color. I, it will actually only filter out this part. It will filter out the color of this, uh, uh, of this line item. Okay, so we've seen how the configuration sits. We've seen how the document sits. Now let's take a look when we generate it. A rich text, click the button. Okay, it's already there. As you can see, show as is. This one is in font Garamond. I will just do it a little bit bigger in the preview. This one is in font Garamond. Uh, this one is, of course, yeah, bold. This is then the bullet point list that you see, one, two, and three. Uh, very good because you can see here how it sits in Salesforce. And then we have something that's bold and underlined. Okay, next I said remove all of the styles and all of the classes. So this is now not anymore in, uh, in Garamond. This is now in the, in the, as you can see the difference in the font. This is now in font uh, Arial, which is the default font from our documents. And of course, yeah, we kept the bold because like uh, as said, this bold is not a style nor a class. It's actually an, uh, a tag. So we are not removing tags here. Oh, sorry, here. Then we, the last one we said we were more specific. We want to filter out the color, which is done, but we kept the font Garamond. So this font is still there, but now only the color has been removed. So this is how easy it can be to add uh, rich text fields to your Salesforce. So the only thing you have to do is create a rich text config type and make sure you filter out or uh, you keep all of the configuration and settings that are there.